Hey, for a recent episode of the Woodsmith Shop TV show, we made a couple of outdoor projects. One was a bird house, and then I spent a lot of time working on this bird feeder. Now, it's a little bit over the top, but since we put a little extra effort into it, I wanted to give it an extra special finish. Because, let's be honest, on an outdoor bird feeder, bird house kind of project, most of the time you're not really doing too much with it. But for this one, since it looks so great, I want to keep it in top shape for as long as possible. One product that I like to use in my furniture projects is water-based finish because there's low odor and it dries super fast. So when Old Masters came out with their Ascend Exterior water-based product that's designed for being outside, got me pretty excited because if I'm working on Christmas projects, I know that I can apply the finish inside the house and not fill up the house with fumes. So I wanted to show you how it goes on. Now, just like any other water-based finish, when you open it up, you want to give it a good stir and it should look a little disturbing to you if you're used to oil-based finishes because it's going to have this cloudy, milky white look to it and it'll be about the consistency of half and half. But don't worry, once it dries, it's going to dry clear. Now for applying it, I usually like uh, foam paint pads. But for this application where I have a lot of these shingles on here, I'm going to go to the other standbys using just these disposable foam brushes. Don't have to worry about any kind of cleanup. And even though it's water-based and you don't have to worry about uh, chemicals that can bother you, just for the sake of cleanliness, I'm going to wear some disposable gloves here. Actually, I'm going to start with a wider brush and do the bottom of it first so you can see how it goes on. Now most water-based finishes don't add much color to it, but the Ascend exterior has just a little, a little amber color in it. So you can see it bring out some of those colors in the cedar that we used on this project. And with this first coat, I really am expecting it to be uh, soaked in and absorbed by the wood. So you just want to get a nice wet coat applied to all the surfaces. And particularly on the end grain where that's really going to absorb water. And you can get smaller brushes to get into some of the tighter spaces. And how far you want to go on this, especially on a bird feeder project, is really up to you. But I want to get the stuff, the surfaces that are going to be exposed to the weather most of the time. So some of the innards on the inside of the bird feeder I'll probably just kind of leave because they're going to be protected. Now the shingles are just going to take a lot, of, a lot of detail work because of the texture to them. So that's where a really small foam brush like this comes in handy so that you can just kind of work it in there. Um, like I said, most of it's going to get absorbed, but I do want to brush out and take care of most of the bubbles because I don't want to have to deal with uh, that foaminess later on. Okay, so I have a coat applied to this one end. I still want to take care of like these little gable end protectors on here and put a coat of finish on there. But one thing I want to do before we cut here and then I'll come back for a second coat, is once you have one coat applied, just kind of chase down, like I said, any areas where you see a lot of finish building up, because we don't want any drips, because they're going to be really, really almost impossible to deal with on these textured shingles. So the foam brush makes it nice to kind of winkle all of those out. And then we'll let this dry for an hour, maybe two, depending on the humidity of where you're applying it. And then we'll put on a second coat. All right, it's been about an hour and a half since I put the first coat of finish 
on the bird feeder here. And as you can see, it's already dry. Now there's a few different things that we need to take care of before we start applying the second coat. Now the first one is to just let the shingles be. Ordinarily on a furniture project, after the first coat goes on, you wanna sand down any roughness left over from the first coat drying. But on those shingles, it's just too easy to start chipping those. But I will take some, some 220 grit or 320 grit sandpaper. on the flat edges, like on these pieces here, the perch, and even on the bottom. What that's going to do is to sand down and smooth any of the nibs that are left over and just the roughness to it. So once that's done, then we can begin to apply the second coat. And what you'll find is that the second coat goes on a lot faster because you've sealed the wood surfaces. So I can start already on these shingles and put on that second coat just like I did before. All right, so just like before, once I've brushed on the finish horizontally, just because it's a lot easier to do that way, I'm gonna come through and just pick up any of the drips and bubbles that I'll see that form on there. Now two coats is a minimum for an outdoor project like this. And you can definitely add more if you wanna get a deeper build and a thicker film finish on it. But I'm gonna leave it at two because I think it's gonna look its best. Now, whenever you're building a project for outdoors, the key word here is maintenance because you're never really done finishing it. The sun, rain, snow, and all the weather is gonna take a toll on the finish. So probably in a year or two, you wanna go over and apply another coat or two on it just to keep up with it and keep this bird feeder looking its best. If you'd like to find plans for the bird feeder and the bird house that we built on the TV show, they're at our website, woodsmithplans.com. We wanna thank Old Masters for sponsoring the show and for creating a product like the Ascend exterior to be able to finish our projects. So if you're ready to build something outdoors and wanna ditch the stinky oil-based finishes, try the Ascend exterior water-based finish. It dries fast and looks great.